Hi, my name is Matthew. I'm currently studying computer science here at uh, UCF, and this is my journey through ENC 1102. Uh, basically talking about the papers I wrote, the goals I set, how I went through the class, how I got by. Um, other than that, let's get right into it. Before coming to UCF, I went to Melbourne High School. I took AP Lang and AP Lit, and in those classes, I was usually able to keep an A, but essays were never really my speed. I would often get bored and try to find a way to do everything at the last minute, or not do it at all. I had a very lackadaisical attitude towards my work and the eventual exams I would have to take. Somehow, I managed to pass AP Lang with three, but I couldn't say the same thing for AP Lit. Senioritis really hit me hard, and I was just trying to get to college, so I could care less. Once I got to UCF, I decided I would get my last English credit needed so I could stop writing essays so much. Going into ENC 1102, I was expecting a class much like high school, where I was writing about something I had no interest in, and I just wouldn't really like the class that much. Much to my surprise, I was able to write about something I liked, and one of my interests, food. I was able to pick one of my YouTube channels that I watch daily, Bon Appetit, where all they do is post videos about food and how to make it and how to prepare it. In order to do well in ENC 1102, I tried to set goals so I'd be motivated to get my work done efficiently. Goal number one would be to get an A. I mean, a 4.0 looks really good, but I doubt I could get it. Goal number two would be to stay on top of my work and school in general. I didn't want to end up like this. Bro, don't you have a class at eight? Thank you. Goal number three is to write good papers, because even though with a computer science major I won't be doing much writing after this class, I would like to have the ability to do so. Goal number four was me hoping that all the goals I just stated would help me to not procrastinate on my writing, because I've had previous experiences where I would always procrastinate and never want to write an essay. By the time the first paper came around, the whole college thing hadn't sunk in for me yet. I was still doing and studying with a high school mentality. I didn't really want to write, I didn't really want to try my best, and I was waiting until the last minute to do everything. <laughs> Luckily, it only resulted in small errors. When receiving my grade and feedback on my uh, proposal, I was happy that I got a 92 on my first paper, but I was a little annoyed I forgot to read the rubric. Finding out that I failed to complete one of the requirements on the rubric really made me upset, but looking on the bright side of things, I was able to achieve two of my goals with the first paper. I was writing good papers and keeping an A. But I was slacking on my other goals, not procrastinating, staying on top of my work. After the proposal, I was still a little hazy on the direction I would take when talking about my community. When gathering my sources, I tried to be as broad as possible and tried to find sources that would allow me to cover multiple views because I still struggled to find the frame in which I needed to talk about my community, Bon Appetit. Even though I didn't really have a clear direction when I was writing, I was able to achieve way more goals than I did in my first paper. Instead of waiting till the last minute to do my work, I was able to finish the bibliography the morning it was due. You may be thinking, that's not really a lot. You just kind of did it in the morning of, but it was huge for me. It helped me realize how good it felt to get work done early and not really be procrastinating at the end. I was able to get a 98 on the paper, and I was still writing good papers and keeping an A. And I was also striving on my other goals and to not procrastinate and stay on top of my work. After my annotated bibliography, I'm in the final stretch of the semester. I'm doing well, and so I should be able to keep some healthy work habits going, right? Wrong. I think what happened was I started doing too well and lost my focus to keep pushing strong through school. In all my classes, I started paying attention less and sleeping and procrastinating more. This resulted in me to miss assignments and my grades slightly dropped. So while writing my analysis paper, I procrastinated a lot and I barely finished the paper on time. But I was able to find my frame and direction for the paper, so it wasn't too bad. I decided to focus on the intertextuality and rhetorical situation between videos and recipes on the channel. This worked out. I was able to get a 95 on the paper, and I was pretty happy. I was able to achieve two goals, and then I was able to keep an A and write good papers. However, I was upset that I ended up procrastinating again in my college career. Ending the semester, I was happy to say I was able to get through my first couple months of college. It was a refreshing change from how I used to think of school, and I liked it a lot. I was able to get an A in ENC 1102 and continue to write good papers in that class and all my other classes. Even though I came short on one of my goals, which was procrastinating, I was happy to say that I achieved my other ones. Looking on the bright side of things, however, I think I made great strides to try to eliminate procrastinating from my work habits. Even though I still did it, I, there were moments where I wasn't procrastinating, and that made me feel good. Overall, I enjoyed ENC 1102 and I learned a lot and it was pretty fun.